Throughout world history, snipers have become a crucial component of military strategy due to their ability to eliminate enemy personnel, provide reconnaissance, and infiltrate enemy lines unseen. Over the last century, this skill set has proven extremely valuable to commanders and generals on the battlefield. Here is a list of some of the deadliest snipers over the years. First, we have Chuck Mawinney with 103 kills. Charles Benjamin Chuck Mawinney was a former United States Marine who served 16 months in the military during the Vietnam War. As a sniper, Mawinney is credited with having 103 confirmed kills, a Marine Corps record with 216 probable kills. Mawinney was the son of a Marine Corps veteran from World War II and joined the Marines after graduating from high school in 1967. After attending Scout Sniper School at Camp Pendleton, Mawinney was assigned to 1st Battalion, 5th Marines, 1st Marine Division in South Vietnam, where he was later transferred to the headquarters Scout Sniper Platoon. Working with a variety of military units and police forces, Mawinney's exploits in Vietnam became legendary. In one encounter, Mawinney was even credited with dropping an entire enemy platoon, approximately 16 enemy soldiers, in one sitting. Mawinney held no qualms about the nature of his work and felt that his actions helped save many American lives. After being declared combat fatigued by a chaplain, Mawinney was later transferred to the United States, where he served as a marksmanship instructor at his former base, Camp Pendleton. He later left the Marine Corps in 1970, working with the U.S. Forest Service until until his retirement. Mawinney never mentioned or discussed his accomplishments to family or friends, including his wife, preferring to keep quiet about his time in the Marines. In 1991, however, Mawinney's exploits were recounted by a fellow sniper, Joseph Ward, in his book, Dear Mom, A Sniper's Vietnam. After documentation proved that Mawinney had 103 confirmed kills during the war, he was officially recognized by the Marine Corps as having the most kills ever recorded in Marine history. Next, we have Henry Norwest, with 115 kills kills. Henry Ducky Norwest was a Canadian sniper known for his exploits in World War I. Born in Fort Saskatchewan, Alberta on 1 May 1884, Norwest worked as a ranch hand, rodeo performer, and eventually the Royal Northwest Mounted Police before joining the Canadian Army in 1915. Although initially discharged for misbehavior only three months into his military career, he later re-enlisted under a different name and was assigned to the 50th Canadian Infantry Battalion. In less than three years, Norwest accumulated 115 confirmed kills. Due to his remarkable knowledge of stealth tactics and the use of camouflage, Norwest was often sent on reconnaissance missions into the heart of no man's land. For his heroism, he was awarded the military medal and bar during the Battle of Vimy Ridge. Despite his remarkable abilities and steadfast devotion to his unit, however, Norwest never saw the end of the First World War. Just three months before fighting ceased, Norwest was spotted by a German sniper and was killed before he could return fire. 18 August, 19 1918. He was later buried in the Warvier Churchyard Extension Cemetery in Warvier, Somme, France. His rifle, Ross Rifle, is currently displayed at the King's Own Calgary Regiment RCAC Museum in Calgary. Third on the list is Chris Kyle with 160 kills. Christopher Scott Kyle was a United States Navy SEAL sniper who served four tours of duty in Iraq. Kyle was born in Odessa, Texas on 8 April 1974 to Wayne and Debbie Lynn Kyle. After working as a farmer, professional rodeo rider, and ranch hand, Kyle later joined the United States Navy after suffering a career-ending injury during his time as a rodeo rider. After having surgery to have his arm repaired, Kyle received an invitation to BUDS, Basic Underwater Demolition Sea Air Land, SEAL training at Coronado, California, 1999. Later assigned to SEAL Team 3's sniper element, Kyle quickly found himself in the middle of some intense action throughout Iraq. During his four tours of duty, Chris Kyle racked up 160 confirmed kills across Ramadi, Fallujah, Baghdad, and various localities across Iraq. Because of his legendary status, insurgents in the area later named him Shaitan ar-Ramadi, which translates to the Devil of Ramadi. Iraqi insurgents even placed a $20,000 bounty on Kyle's head, which was later raised to $80,000 before the end of his career. Kyle was also well known for his incredible shots, with his longest being a 2,100-yard kill with a Macmillan TAC-338 sniper rifle. After leaving the military at the rank of Chief Petty Officer in 2009, Kyle returned home and became a leading figure in helping former military members that suffered from PTSD transition to civilian life. Sadly, on 2 February 2013, Kyle and his good friend Chad Littlefield were murdered by Eddie Ray Ruth, also a veteran, while visiting a shooting range in Erath County, Texas. Moving on, we have Vasily Zaitsev with 242 kills. Vasily Grigoryevich Zaitsev was a Soviet sniper that served in the Red Army during World War II and is credited with over 242 confirmed kills. Born in Yelenskaya, 
Orenburg government on 23 March 1915, Zaitsev reportedly learned his marksmanship from his grandfather in the Ural Mountains. After graduating from college and working for a brief time in construction, Zaitsev later enlisted in the Soviet military, serving with the Pacific Fleet beginning in 1937. After war broke out only a few years later, following the launch of Operation Barbarossa, Zaitsev volunteered to join the front lines where he was assigned to the 1047th Rifle Regiment of the 284th Tomsk Rifle Division. Even before he became a sniper for the Red Army, Zaitsev was credited with 32 kills using a standard issue rifle. It wasn't until 1942, just before the Battle of Stalingrad, that Zaitsev's career as a sniper officially began. A master of stealth and concealment, Zaitsev was well known for changing positions regularly, as well as his ingenious ability to cover large areas from just a handful of strategic locations. Tactic later dubbed the Sixes. Throughout the Battle of Stalingrad, Zaitsev accumulated more than 200 enemy kills before he was later blinded by a German mortar attack. After regaining his sight a month later, Zaitsev returned to the front in February of 1943, finishing his career at the Battle of Silo Heights in Germany at the rank of captain. After the war, Zaitsev later joined the Communist Party in 1943 and settled in Kiev, Ukraine, where he worked as an engineer for the remainder of his life. He died on 15 December 1991 at the age of 76 and was later reburied at Mamiyev Hill in Volgograd with full military honors. For his actions during the war, Zaitsev was awarded Hero of the Soviet Union. Who said ladies can't be snipers? We give you Ludmila Pavlichenko with 309 kills. Ludmila Mikhailovna Pavlichenko was a Soviet sniper that served with the Red Army during World War II and is credited with an astounding 309 kills during her military career. Born in Vilitserkva, modern-day Ukraine, on 12 July 1916, Pavlichenko later moved with her family to Kiev, where she worked as a grinder at the Kiev Arsenal factory. In her spare time, Pavlichenko developed a keen interest in shooting and even joined a local shooting club, where her skills as a sharpshooter first developed. After getting married and having a son, Pavlichenko later attended Kiev University during the 1930s, where she eventually earned a master's degree in history. Following Operation Barbosa and the invasion of Soviet territory by the Nazi army, Pavlichenko volunteered for military service and was assigned to the 25th Rifle Division. Although offered the opportunity to become a nurse, Pavlichenko instead opted for sniper training, becoming one of the 2,000 female snipers in the Red Army. Trained with a Mosin Nagant bolt-action rifle, Pavlichenko made her first two kills near Belayevka. Later, during the fight for Odessa and its surrounding areas, Pavlichenko racked up an impressive 187 kills in only three months of fighting. After being severely wounded by mortar fire in June of 1942, Pavlichenko was withdrawn from combat just after reaching the rank of lieutenant in the Red Army. The Southern Army Council later credited her with a total of 309 confirmed kills, which included 257 German soldiers and 36 enemy snipers. Finally on our list is Simo Haya with 505 kills. Simo Simuna Haya was a Finnish sniper that served in the Winter War of 1939-1940 and is credited with 505 confirmed kills against Red Army soldiers. In temperatures reaching negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit and camouflaged in solid white to blend in with the snow and ice, Haya dropped one Red Army soldier after another, racking up all 505 of his kills in less than 100 days of combat. The incredible feat earned him the nickname White Death amongst both his fellow soldiers and the enemy alike. Haya used a Sako M2830 with iron sights. He was also known to pack himself in heavy snow to provide cover and to balance his rifle, all while placing small bits of snow on his tongue to prevent his breath from giving away his position to the enemy. On 6 March 1940, Haya was severely wounded in his left left jaw by an armor-piercing bullet fired by the Red Army. After losing consciousness for several days, Haya awoke on 13 March 1940. The day peace was officially declared between the two nations, with nearly half his face missing from the gunshot. After the war, Haya was promoted to second lieutenant and retired from the military. Haya later recuperated from his wounds and became a moose hunter and dog breeder following the Second World War. At the age of 96, Haya passed away in a veteran's nursing home located in Hamana, 2002. To this day, Haya remains the deadliest sniper in world history. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.